praise to God. Father, thank you for another opportunity to be a blessing to my generation, to be a blessing to the Bill household. Father, even as we study, we pray that you give us understanding. Lord, you are a good God. You are the Father that likes to see us maximize and enjoy our lives. Thank you for research and researchers. As we dive into this teaching, the relationship between our muscle mass and mortality, the relationship between muscles and death or dying. I pray that no one under the sound of my voice will remain the same. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Mama Ima is always teaching the word, but I tell you the truth, what I'm about to show us is going to help us be better kingdom citizens. You know, I'm in for the kingdom of God. Anything that builds humanity and take us forward is always my delight, my fascination. Now, first things first, I want us to remember that Moses is an organ in our body. Mozu function like any other organ. If you are careful about things you eat so your liver can function well, if you are very careful about what you bring close to all the other organs, then you have to also be um, watchful or pay attention to your muscles. Let's start by debunking or destroying some wrong mindset. Okay, the first one is that it's not everybody that's skinny that has muscles. Muscles is talking about something much more than being skinny. Number two, exercise is not the only way we build muscles. We build muscles through a lot of other approaches, which we might not be able to con uh, cover in this teaching. Because this teaching is going to be focused on showing us the importance of building muscles. Now that we've taken that out of the way, I want to say a few things. Number one, walking out from a place of building muscle because you love you and you know the importance and you want to live longer is better than trying to build muscle or trying to walk out because you don't like the way you look. Now, if the way you look is a fool, it should be, oh, I can look better. So I'm going to walk my muscles. Not I want to look skinny or I want to look skinnier. The more muscle we have or we develop, because you don't just have it, you build it. Every one of us is born as a child without muscles, without strong muscles. We have to build muscles. And how do we what how do we build muscles? Like I said, one of the easiest ways is to work out. When we don't walk out and we don't build our muscles, we are at risk of what? Diabetes. We are at risk of falling, breaking, and being hurt. According to a research that I studied, it showed that the wider our waistline, meaning not exercising, eating wrong, not sleeping, not doing the things that will result in the building of muscles, will lower our brain volume means that your functionality your brain capacity your brain functionality and brain capacity will reduce meaning muscle formation is a very important aspect of our lives that we should consider when we build muscles according to this research it helps to reduce our mortality rate it says when somebody, for example, is is um is being at risk of maybe you already have cancer. It said the, the chances for you to even go for a chemotherapy treatment is going to be determined by your muscle mask. Means if your muscle are weak, they won't even let you go for treatment. According to these same studies, it says Alzheimer is type 3 diabetes of the brain. What does that mean? It means that when we don't have strong muscles, we have too much fatty tissue, much more than muscles. Can I say this before we continue? That muscle is the only place where, uh, is the only organ that helps to eradicate fatty tissues in our body, especially in the blood system. So when there's too much fat in our body, which means we don't have strong muscles, 
it's going to afraid our brain to the point where when we get older, we begin to forget things. It's very important for us to remember that Alzheimer's can be cured by developing muscles. When our brain is, 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 um, is, is affected by Alzheimer's, the research says it is a metabolic disease that we can prevent. We can prevent Alzheimer's by developing muscles at this point in our life. Muscles are organs. Run after building your muscles. Why? Because aging affects the formation of muscles. You can form and grow your muscles better when you're younger than when you get older. And we need to remember, I said it, I want to repeat it, that muscles are also called what? A metabolic organ. They help to control our body composition. They help in our metabolism. When you eat, ask yourself, is this food going to build my muscles? Because there are food that will build our muscles and there are food that will break down our muscles. Protein is one of the food that will build our muscles. And our body is created, formed to run, not only on carbs and fat, but also on protein. Every time you eat, make sure you have quality protein in your food because it will help in building your muscles. Clean, lean protein. The higher the muscle mass, the better the protection against all kinds of diseases and dying. Your chances to survive, according to this research, depends on how much muscle you have in your body. Now, we know as children of God that there's so much more to that, right? We're talking about the physical now, the things we can do in our own strength, in our own uh, responsible behavior. It's funny how the research put it. If you meet somebody that's always thinking about dying and death, it's very possible that they have a very large waistline. It's possible that they don't have muscles. Since you are not overweight, you are lacking in muscles. You see, a lot of people put more emphasis on weight. You have so much weight. You have so much calorie. You have so much this. You say, no, it's a lack of muscles. You see, because when your Moses and the research give an example of athletes and the interviewer gave something that said something that was so profound, funny, but profound. He said, this Moses teaching makes a lot of sense. He was talking to the expert. He said, because I had an, a, a, an Olympic friend, an Olympic model friend who eats all the kind of crabs and junk you can think about. But then he still makes it. And his Moses are strong. He said, yes, because he's younger. You know, when you're younger, that propensity to be muscle is higher. So people can eat anything and still be muscle, right? But what, what if we never ate junk even when we were younger and when we, we, we were at the propensity to build muscle, we're building healthy muscles, healthy muscles. It will increase our mortality rate. According to that research, if two people the same age had a situation that can kill them. I, I need to remember, they visit to, I think it's about 25% survivor chance will be given to the one who has muscles, lean, clean muscles. You see, if you live your life knowing that muscle is a metabolic currency, you will not just be wasting your muscles, you'll be building them. You'll be accumulating your muscles. Why? Because even for those who want to lose weight, the easiest way to lose weight and keep it off is what? Building your muscles. Because muscles will help send out that fat from your system and then you become slimmer and leaner. It's the muscles will use the fat up for you. So 
fat in our system. It's not talking about the eating of fatty food. It's talking about eating carbohydrate in excess or anything that will produce glucose. Therefore, if you don't want your muscles to be weak because they're doing extra work sending out that fat, don't store or don't eat too much carbs. The researcher says he can eat carbs maybe a few times a week. And all or most of our carbs come from natural sources, like what? Vegetables, potatoes, not processed, everything from the nature. You need to see her body. She's gluing and she's all structured. Good muscle mass. Every time we're eating excess, in excess, every time we're eating things that don't build our bodies, we are in what? A mass destruction, muscle destruction. A massive muscle destruction. You're destroying your muscles. No matter the organs you've heard so far that helps you lose fat, your, your liver, your kidney, and all of that. This research makes it clear that the organ in our body, actually it disposes 79% of glucose. 70, no, 87, 87 percentage disposal of glucose. It's the one that sends the thing that solidifies and, and stay in our body as fat. It's your muscles. The human body was made to thrive on that activity. That's why building, uh, walking and lifting weights and using resistant bands is one of the best approach to building muscles. As we grow older, we need our muscles. So that we'll not just have a long, many, many years suffering. What is the good, according to the researcher, to have uh, God give you 90 years of misery? 90 years when you cannot walk around. The only way you can build strong muscles is to make sure that you're doing the required exercise, you're eating well, and you're eating the right food that will build your muscles. She said high quality proteins equals high quality mass, high quality muscle mass. It is up to us. He said, those who go to the, go, those who go, um, not just to the gym, those who build their muscles will reduce their dying, dying death, right? Probability by 27%. Is it 27% of those who exercise will live longer? So if two people are the same age, they eat the same thing, and one goes to the gym and the other doesn't, the mortality rate between them, this other one will be much more, 27% higher or lesser since it's mortality. Living long and their muscles, productivity and strength will be higher than the person who doesn't. Now, when you put all of this in perspective and look at the kingdom approach to all of this, you realize that daddy wants us to optimize our lives. He wants us to live the best. So any research that propagates and shows us how to have a better quality of life, it does not contradict the word of God. I like to consume it. My prayer is that I said something that will help you and challenge you to view your muscles instead of destroying it. There's so much more to this research. It's a fairly, uh, very pronounced fairly meaning anything in the in the science world that is less than 10 years or quite fairly it's not an old uh, um, research it's something that's ongoing my prayer is that it has triggered um, an inquisitive in our spirit so we can go and research more my assignment for all of us will go to start to go and study how you can build your muscle as a person now that you've seen how powerful or the relationship between mortality, good health, good living, quality of life, 
and your muscles, the relationship between your muscles and the quality of life or longevity. Father, thank you for this word. I pray that every one of us will take care and pay attention to our muscles. Thank you, my Father. Show us the components that make for the, the building of healthy muscles. We refuse to allow our waistline to be bigger because we want our brains to have the quality of volume that you've created us to have. Help us to stop eating our brain away by eating too much food, especially the bad ones. Help us to look up to you when it's challenging, when the appetite is everywhere else. That will focus on you and focus on building our muscles. The grace to do this, Lord, we receive. In Jesus' name, amen.